Alright, this is Jake, and I'm just going to do a video to show you guys the stuff I'm using tomorrow for the Wisconsin Youth Deer Hunt, so here we go. Here are my hunting overalls, made by Mossy Oak Camo. And right there's one of, their, one of the logos, you can probably see. So I'm going to be using these tomorrow. Um, here's the orange vest that's going to be going over them with my back tag and my two buck tags from last year. So, yep. Here's an orange hat that I'm going to wear over that mask, which I'll show you in a little bit. So I can just keep my head a little bit warmer because that mask won't do the job that I want it to do, so I'm going to put another hat on. This mask is a blaze orange mask, so you can see. But it can be reversed to camo. So that's what I'm going to wear, and I'm going to put the hat over it, as I said. Here's my gloves. They're fairly warm. So I'm going to use them tomorrow because it's supposed to be like 40 degrees, maybe less. Um, here's a little fanny pack that I keep my buck knife and my can or my calls and stuff in, and my bullets. And I carry this around for my bullets because I missed quite a few deer last year, as my friends know, but I'm not going to say how many. Um, got a thermosel, camo, camo thermosel with a cover. It really works. I'm just bringing it tomorrow just in case if it's warmer than it's supposed to be and the bugs are out. Got my winter boots that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow. They're fairly warm. Field, or field and stream boots. Right there. Um, I got my Scent Away, number one rated against all other brands. Um, so hopefully that works for me. The Twindy. Got a hunting call that I'm gonna be carrying in that fanny pack I just showed you. <coughs> it's Primo's original can call. Got my buck knife right here. It's in its cover. Here it is without its cover. It's really small, but it's really sharp. My uncle is really amazed at how well this knife worked. Got that knife for Christmas. So I can buckle it here. Um, and of course, you need to have the gun. Marlin 243. You've probably seen the video of the review on it. So I um, can't wait to use that tomorrow. We set it into about 60, 70 yards, and I'm right on. I just moved a little bit, but if I can stay still, I should be able to hit the deer. And then we can't use a gun without bullets, so here are the 243 bullets. They are rather small. I didn't show you a very good view of them in the gun review which if you guys have not seen you should watch that so here's the bullet which is I'm going to be using tomorrow so that's all the stuff I'm going to be using tomorrow so stay tuned and see if I get anything on the youth deer hunt thanks for watching